we know that the expectation or the mean of the random variable of a discrete probability distribution is mu equal to summation of x p x. So how to get this formula? We know that mu is equal to summation of f x over n, and we take out the f x, then we have x times f over n, and p x is actually of f over n. The probability is the uh, frequency divided by the total of the sample space. Okay, so we have the summation of x p x. Um, look at this example. Find the expectation if a person bet R M one on forty big. Just use your lucky number to play forty, and the more you buy, the more you could win. Go for forty today. Okay, this is the price payout for uh, every hour R M one bet. So if you win win the first prize, you will get two thousand five from the company. And there's one second prize, one third prize, then special prize, and then consolation prize. For each uh, special prize, uh, you will get RM180. So this is the table that I construct. Actually, there's one price category that they didn't show you is you get nothing. And you don't get any money from the company. And you will lose one ringgit, and you will gain two thousand five, two thousand four hundred and ninety nine. If you win the first prize because you bet one ringgit, okay, you have to deduct what you uh, invested, then only you get the gain. So this one is x, and the probability for you get to win the first prize is one over ten thousand because there's ten thousand combination for the forty. And second price one over ten thousand, third price one over ten thousand, then special price so it's ten over ten thousand, and then consolation price is ten over ten thousand, and you have nine thousand nine hundred and seventy seven number that won't come out in the price category, so you have the probability to lose one ringgit is. Uh, nine thousand nine hundred seventy seven over ten thousand, and we can calculate the x multiplied with the p x over here. We get all this number, and uh, we use the formula for mean that is the summation of x p x. So we add up all this number, and we will get negative zero point three six. What does this mean? This means that you will lose thirty cent, three thirty six cent for every RM one that you buy. This means that the more you buy, the more you could lose. The more you buy, the more the forty company gain. For sure, they want you to go for forty. So, if you have a habit to buy forty, please stop it today.